Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel that is Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit. Today we are going to discuss metabolism of acidic amino acids that is glutamic acid and aspartic acid. Along with that we will also see metabolism of asparagine and glutamine. So first metabolism of glutamic acid. So glutamic acid is basically a glucogenic as well as non-essential amino acid. Non-essential means uh, we don't have to supply glutamic acid in the diet and glucogenic amino acid means there is a synthesis of glucose from the uh, glutamic acid. So first we will see synthesis of glutamic acid. So glutamic acid is synthesized from alpha ketoglutarate which is an intermediate of citric acid cycle. So it is synthesized from alpha ketoglutarate which is an intermediate of citric acid cycle by first Transamination reaction. Transamination means transfer of amino group. So this is an example of transamination reaction. Over here there is a conversion of alpha ketoglutarate into the glutamate with the help of enzyme aspartate transaminase which is also called as a AST or SGOT. And this transamination reaction requires one coenzyme that is PLP, pyridoxal phosphate. And this transamination reaction is a reversible reaction. That is the first uh, mechanism or first reaction by which we can synthesize glutamic acid. Second one is by the reductive amination of alpha ketoglutarate by ammonia and this particular reaction is catalyzed by glutamate dehydrogenase. This is how this reductive amination occurs. There is a com combination of alpha ketoglutarate and ammonia. In the presence of glutamate dehydrogenase enzyme, this alpha ketoglutarate is converted to the glutamate. So both these reactions are the reversible reaction. So this is how glutamic acid is synthesized. First with the help of transamination and second with the help of reductive amination. Now let's see how this glutamic acid is catabolized. So basically when glutamate is degraded, it is converted back to the alpha ketoglutarate either by the transamination or by the reductive amination which is done with the help of glutamate dehydrogenase reaction. So as we have already seen in the previous slide that this transamination and reductive amination both are the reversible reactions. So by same reaction, this glutamic acid is catabolized. Now importance of glutamic acid. So the first importance of glutamic acid is it is uh, important for the synthesis of various other amino acids like glutamine, proline and arginine. These three amino acids are derived from the glutamate so that is the first importance. Second importance of this glutamic acid or glutamate is it is involved in the synthesis of one tripeptide which is called as a glutathione. Another name of glutathione is gamma glutamyl cysteinyl glycine. So apart from glutamate, there is also presence of cysteine and glycine in the synthesis of this three amino acid takes part in the synthesis of glutathione. And this glutathione, it is involved in the reduction of hydrogen peroxide to the H2O as well as this glutathione is also important for the transport of various amino acid into the cells of kidney and intestine. So, that is the second importance of glutamic acid. Third importance of glutamic acid is uh, if the decarboxylation of glutamate is occur, then it leads to the formation of one amine that is called as a gamma aminobutyric acid, which act as a neurotransmitter. So these are the importance of glutamic acid. Now metabolism of glutamine. So glutamine is basically a amide of glutamate. So that is first thing. Now what is the importance of glutamine? So the first and very much important, important part of glutamine is it is the major transport form of ammonia. Fine, it is the major transport form of ammonia. Second important, th important thing regarding glutamine is it is the principal source of ammonia in the kidney and this ammonia which is produced enters the urine and decreases its acidity. So glutamine also play important role in the regulation of acid base balance. So that is the second important thing. And the third important thing regarding glutamine is it plays important role in the formation of arginine, carbamyl phosphate and purine by donating the 
nitrogen or amino group so that is the that are the various importance of glutamine main importance of glutamine is it plays it is the major transport form of ammonia as well as it also plays important role in the formation of arginine carbamyl phosphates and purines now synthesis and degradation of glutamine so glutamate a uh, glutamine is synthesized from glutamate with the help of one enzyme that is called as a glutamine synthetase and amide group will be uh, donated with the help of ammonia so glutamine synthetase enzyme is there and there will be the utilization of one molecule of atp so this is how glutamine is synthesized from glutamate with the help of glutamine synthetase now degradation of glutamine is different from the synthesis for the degradation we require different enzyme that is glutaminase which remove the amide group from the glutamine in the form of ammonia and convert this glutamine into the glutamate so this is how synthesis and degradation of glutamine occurs two different enzyme glutamine synthetase and glutaminase now metabolism of another uh, Uh, acidic amino acid that is aspartic acid along with the aspartame so aspartic acid again it is a same as that of uh, glutamic acid it is a non essential and glucogenic amino acid while the aspartame is a amide of aspartate now function of aspartic acid so aspartic acid in the urea cycle it reacts with the citrulline and it forms the arginosuccinate which gets broken down into broken down and form one uh, form essential amino acid like arginine and fumarate that is the first thing second thing is aspartate reacts with the ionosine monophosphate imp to form a adenosine monophosphate so these are the two important functions of aspartic acid now clinical importance importance of asparaginase so certain types of tumor cells particularly leukemic cells require asparagine so therefore asparaginase has been used as an anti tumor agent what this asparaginase will do asparaginase will convert this asparagin into the aspartate so there will be no easily availability of asparagin for this uh, tumor cells particularly leukemic cells so that's how this asparaginase will be useful in the treatment of leukemia now synthesis and degradation of aspartate and asparagin first we will see the synthesis and degradation of aspartate so aspartate is synthesized from the intermediate of tca cycle that is oxaloacetate by the transamination reaction as it is a transamination reaction so it is a reversible reaction so by that means only this aspartate can be degraded into the oxaloacetate so this is how a uh, synthesis and degradation of aspartate occurs fine now we will see the synthesis and degradation of asparagine so first aspartate can aspartate can convert it to the asparagine with the help of asparagine synthetase enzyme and over here for the amide formation nitrogen atom is donated with don donated by the glutamine so this glutamine gets converted to the glutamate and there is also requirement of one molecule of atp so this is how aspartate gets converted to the asparagine with the help of asparagine synthetase fine and asparagine is degraded by the asparaginase enzyme which will remove the amide group from the asparagine in the form of ammonia so this asparagine gets converted to the aspartate with the help of asparaginase so the synthesis is done with the help of asparagine synthetase and the degradation is done with the help of asparaginase now let's see the various multiple choice questions so the first question is transamination of oxaloacetate results in the formation of and the options are a aspartic acid b valine c alanine and d serine so the answer is aspartic acid transamination of oxaloacetate results in the formation of aspartic acid so the correct answer is a second question is the amino acid producing the major source of ammonia in kidney is a glutamine b alanine c aspartate and d glutamate so the correct answer is 
A glutamine. Glutamine A is the amino acid which produces the major source of ammonia in the kidney and it is the major transport form of ammonia also. So that is A. Third question is which of the following is true for the glutamate dehydrogenase? Glutamate dehydrogenase is carrying out the reductive amination reaction. Fine. So the options are it catalyzes the oxidative deamination. B requires NADH and NADPH. C net removal of alpha amino group of amino acid to the ammonia. And D it is an irreversible reaction. So the all options are correct except D. It is not an irreversible reaction. It is a reversible reaction. So the correct answer is D. These are the my references. Hope okay. you are useful. Thank you for watching Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit. Please don't forget to uh, press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.